In this video, we are talking about not bee caves, not the Westlake Hills, not Dripping Springs, but Lake Way, Texas, a place that literally has the word lake in its name. And hopefully by the end of this video, we'll have helped you arrive at your own conclusion as to whether or not Lake Way, Texas is right for you. If that's the reason you clicked on the video, stay tuned. Hey again everybody, this is Frank with the team of agents at JB Goodwin Realtors. Each and every week we put out tons of new content about living in Austin, Texas, the good and the bad. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel and ring the little bell to get notified each and every time we put out a new video. In addition to that, we love the reach outs we get now all the time from people just like you in need of our help when relocating to Austin, Texas. So keep them coming, don't hesitate whether you're nine days away or 90, reach out to our team, whether you shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a call, any day of the week, any time of day, we've got your back on moving to Austin, Texas. So yes, in this video, we are talking about Lakeway, Texas, which is going to be in that West Austin area near the Bee Caves, near the West Lake Hills. And for the longest time, we started with the Northern suburbs, the Liberty Hills, the Georgetowns, the Leanders, the Round Rocks. And I guess over time now, we're just working our way down because we have a bunch of videos for those Northern areas if you're wanting to check them out. But now we're heading South and part of that South area is including the West and that's going to be Lakeway, Texas, which is Lake Living at its finest. So just for starters, depending on the sources that you check out. The population in Lakeway is going to be on average between about 16 and 17,000 people, at least as it currently stands. And you know, truth of the matter, a lot of the people that relocate to Austin, Texas that we have helped don't have their eyes on Lakeway, Texas, which is a little bit intriguing for me because wouldn't you want lakeside living? Wouldn't you want to be close to water and close enough in proximity to downtown? But What's interesting is a lot of them prefer the Leanders of the world, or they prefer the Mainers of the world, or the Pflugervilles of the world. So we're going to get into just exactly what might turn off people about Lakeway, or what might entice people regarding Lakeway. So let's get right to it. For starters, let's talk about the location of Lakeway, Texas. So it is going to be west of Austin, Texas. And when I say West Austin, Lakeway is going to be really west, right? So its proximity to downtown is going to be right around 35 minutes on average, factoring in a little bit of traffic. Similarly, its proximity to the tech area where a lot of these companies are up and coming, where a lot of people are wanting to join that workforce, that's going to be right around 40 minutes from Lakeway, Texas. So already you're seeing Yes, it's, it's desirable because of its proximity to the water, of course, but a lot of other options are going to be a bit more desirable if you're going to be commuting to either corporate downtown or again, the tech corridor in North Austin. So for example, say Cedar Park, Texas, that's going to be on average about 30 minutes from downtown, but only about 15 to 20 minutes max from that tech corridor, similar with Hutto, similar with Maynard, similar even with Leander or Round Rock or Pflugerville. These are all places that yes, you give up the lake lifestyle, if, if you will, but you are going to be closer. So a lot of these people who are commuting, they take that into account. Now, obviously, if you're coming here from San Francisco, if you're coming here from Portland, Oregon, if you're coming here from Manhattan, a lot of these places on the coasts, well, you might be used to commutes of easily an hour or two just to get to work, and then an hour or two just to get back from work. So if you're one of those people, seeing 30 minutes to downtown and 40 minutes to tech from Lakeway, might not really scare you, but a lot of people out there who reach out to us are used to a commute of maybe 10 minutes or maybe they cycle to work. There's a lot of different people with a lot of different circumstances. So I like to spell it out just so that everyone knows whether it's right for you or whether it's not. Moving right along, we're going to briefly touch on the subject of safety regarding Lakeway, Texas. And truth be told, there really isn't much to say about the safety in Lakeway, Texas, because if you're looking at Neighborhood Scout, if you're looking at these different crime radars, if you're doing your homework and you're wanting to maybe move your family there, whatever the situation may be, you'll find that Lakeway, Texas is pretty much right on par with the average safety in Texas and the average safety in the United States of America. So it's really middle of the road. It's not necessarily going to be like a Hutto, which hangs its hat on being the safest place or one of the safest places, not just in Texas, but in the entire country. Nor is it really going to be, say, like Maynard, Texas or BK, which might have maybe higher crime statistics than a lot of other places in the greater Austin area. So with Lakeway, rest assured, it's not going to be the safest place in the world, but it's certainly not going to have you sleeping with one eye open either. It's right in the middle of the road. Now, what I will say, as I say in many of our videos, and I'll say it again, so if you're a longtime subscriber, do forgive me for this one, but 
truth of the matter is the city of Austin is alarmingly getting less safe. So it's natural for places to have little spikes in crime or little statistics that do get higher over time. But in the case of Austin, Texas, its crime has increased, not just slightly, but alarmingly, dramatically. Aggravated assaults are up, murders are up, robberies are up, so on and so forth. And a lot of people like to point fingers. It gets politicized, defunding the police and all of this political stuff. But I'm not here to talk about why it's happening. I'm here to give you the facts. And the facts are that Austin is really uh, it's becoming a little unnerving to be in the city. It's, there's different shootings that happens, for example. So along um, among local Austinites, uh, it, it is a topic of conversation. So why is this relevant to Lakeway? Well, if you're going to be living in Lakeway, yes, you're going to be spending a lot of your time on the water, on your boats, kayaking, jet skiing, doing all those things, but you're going to be close enough to Austin, Texas. And if you're going to want to dabble in Austin, go bar hopping, fine dining, museums, if you're wanting to do comedy clubs, if you're wanting to do music venues, whatever it is about Austin, Texas that appeals to you and that really attracts you to move here in the first place, if that's gonna be a lot of your time spent, you're going to want to at least just be aware that it is becoming less safe. I mean, uh, I can't give you the exact statistics off of the top of my head, but it is a talking point and a lot of the rest of the country is going through something like this as well. So just something to keep in mind. I don't mean to deter you or dissuade you, but the more you know. Next, I'm gonna talk about the subject of schools. So let's say you are planning to move to Lakeway, Texas, or you at least have your eye on it, and you're bringing either your children or you're thinking of starting a family somewhere in the near future. Well, those kids of yours in Lakeway, Texas are going to be zoned for the Lake Travis Independent School District. And that's good news because the Lake Travis Independent School District consistently ranks among the best in the greater Austin area and oftentimes in the state of Texas. Um, the Lake Travis Independent School District on average serves about 10,000 students and according to niche.com it's going to give it a letter grade of an A which I always find ironic that a website is grading schools which grade students but nonetheless it does get an A which is pretty up there in regards to what your options are in the greater Austin area now I will say if you are one of those parents who really prioritizes the cream of the crop school districts, Lake Travis is not really going to be in the top one, two, or three. It's certainly top five, but it's not really going to be, say, on the level of the Leander Independent School District, which is why so many people we help relocate here have their eyes on Leander because of the schools. So if that is on the top of your priority list, it's not a bad idea to go with Lake Travis, but again, it's not going to be Round Rock either, which serves about 30 to 40,000 students, similar with Leander, another 30 to 40,000 students. These are very large districts with a lot of resources, with football stadiums and auditoriums and things of that nature. Or even number three on the list, which I believe is the Eanes Independent School District, which is a much smaller district than even Lake Travis. And that's going to be the Westlake Hills area that's going to be more exclusive. They have superb graduation rates, SAT scores, ACT scores. So Lake Travis is in that conversation, yes, but again, if it really is more important to you than anything else, the best schools for your kids, like Travis, is very respectable, just not going to be in the top echelon, if you will. Now, real quickly, before we move on, go ahead and drop a comment down below with any opinions or questions for us. Consider liking the video as well if we've been providing any value for you. Remember to subscribe, and lastly, share this video with anyone you know who's wanting to learn more about living in Austin, Texas. Next on the list regarding Lakeway, Texas, we are going to talk about the subject of affordability, the subject that most people watching this video have probably been waiting for. So depending on who you are and which walk of life you come from, how deep your pockets might be, you either want to brace yourself for this or you're going to drool over this. And that is the fact that Lakeway, Texas median home price on average is going to be right around $850,000. So. You might be looking at the Westlake Hills, which has an average of in the millions, or you might be looking at Bee Cave, which is up there in the hundreds of thousands, or Tripping Springs, and you might think Lakeway, Texas, average median of 850, and you're near the lake, and you have the boats, and you have the water, and you're right there, 850 could be quite a steal. Or you might be someone who's maybe a first-time buyer, or maybe you have a budget of 
$500,000 or $400 or $600, one of those, and you're looking at Leander, you're looking at Georgetown, you're looking at Round Rock. Now, 850 is probably going to be quite a bit steep. So I'm not going to say that in Lakeway you can't find anything less than that because it is the median, obviously. So you are going to have your options, but when you buy a little bit cheaper than its median, you can, of course, expect to find homes that are either going to be older or they're going to be smaller. And of course, <laughs> stating the obvious here, the more close to the water you get, 850 is going to easily look like a million, two million, you know, if you're wanting something like a mansion or you're wanting something very nice and new and large with close proximity to the water. So just keep that in mind. But the good news is that if, let's say, you want to be close enough to water, but you don't want to spend the $850,000, you could look at Lago Vista, Texas, which is on the north shore of Lake Travis, or you could even look in Georgetown, which is going to have Lake Georgetown, right? So there are options if you are one of those people who really wants to embrace the lifestyle of Lake Living, or you might be someone with the deep pockets who can think, wow, you know what, that is a steal, I'm just gonna go for it. Depending on who you are, that is the fact of the matter. You can expect to pay on average about $850,000 to live in Lakeway, Texas. Moving right along regarding Lakeway, Texas, we are now going to talk about the different things to do in or around Lakeway, Texas. So for starters, let's state the obvious once again. This is going to be more or less a lake town, but imagine in your mind's eye, if you will, a lake town that is going to be more elegant, that is going to be more upscale. So it's not just gonna be people all the time wearing their bathing suits and their flip-flops just ready to get on a boat. No, Lakeway is considered luxurious. It is in that West Austin area. And for those of you who don't know, in the totality of the greater Austin area, West Austin is where you're going to have your premium options for real estate. So you can expect a beautiful hybrid of a lake town with luxury. So in regards to things you can do in Lakeway, Texas, you're going to have your breweries, you're going to have your cafes, you're going to have your shopping. And on the subject of shopping, you are close enough in proximity to the Hill Country Galleria, which is the one of the most gorgeous shopping centers I've ever been to. And I'm not trying to to praise it, I am brutally honest on this channel, and I'm brutally honest even in a positive way. It is a stunning place to shop, at least in my opinion. I don't know if you've heard of the Domain in North Austin, Texas. It's essentially the Domain, but you have views of the hills. You are more in luxury. So there's restaurants there, there's movie theaters there, and obviously stores to shop. So aside from your cafes and breweries and shopping, you're going to have a lot of nature things to do as well. So if you're into hiking, and of course, most obviously things to do pertaining to the water. So I don't think you're really going to be bored in Lakeway, Texas, as you do have an abundance of things to do. However, they are going to be kind of suburban things to do, if you will. They're not going to be necessarily downtown Austin things to do. So it's kind of good and bad, depending on how far for you 30 minutes is or 35. So if you're wanting to dabble downtown and ride the scooters and do all these fun things that the city of Austin has to offer, you know, factor in about 35 minutes to drive and get there and do those things. If you're not wanting to leave Lakeway, Texas, you do have things to do, as I mentioned, but they are going to be more laid back. They are going to be more family oriented and they're going to be more suburban. That might be right for you or it might not. So there you have it. Lakeway, Texas, depending on who you are, could be a fabulous option or it just might not check enough boxes for you. Either way, there are an abundance of places to live in the greater Austin area. And that is what we are here for, finding that perfect place for you, making your move as smooth as possible. But the only way we can do that is by you reaching out to us. So again, don't hesitate whether you're nine days away or 90, reach out to our team, whether you shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a call any day of the week, any time of day. In addition to that, we do put out tons of new content each and every week about living in Austin, Texas, the good and the bad. So consider subscribing if you haven't already and ring the little bell to get notified whenever we put out a new video. Remember to comment down below, like this video if we've been providing any value for you, share it with anyone you know as well. And until the next one, you guys, my name is Frank. This is Living in Austin, Texas, and we will absolutely catch you later.